Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time. In today's episode of Will It Lube, we'll be putting Pam in a 3x3. So if you don't know how this series works, I take this crappy Dianqing stickerless 3x3 and I lube it with random substances. In this case, I'll be lubing it with Pam uh, spray or canola oil blend. This is the stuff that you put on your pot so that food doesn't stick to it when you're cooking and I want to see if it makes it a good lubricant but before I lube it with this substance I'm going to get a quick baseline on this cube just to see how it performs right now before it has been lubed so that we can find out if it gets better or worse after lubing it but if you've seen the overview a million times skip to the time at the bottom of the screen otherwise here is the overview. Okay, this is the Dianqing stickerless, and it's a pretty bad overall puzzle. First off, turning is really, really slow, and it locks up like crazy. All the layers on this puzzle are very, very sandy or very, very rough. The puzzle does not corner cut very well, maxing out at about a half a piece, and it has massive popping issues due to the mechanism not having any anti-popping mechanism. Overall, this puzzle is just really bad, and that is why it is the Wilt Lube Cube. So we're going to lube this cube with this spray here to find out if it makes it any better or makes it any worse. As you can see, the pieces are even sticking together because it's so disgusting from all the substances that I've used. So I'm just going to spray a decent amount in there and see if it makes it any better. Bubbles. Try to get it all throughout the pieces. Move this over here. All right, I think that'll be a good amount. It seems to be in the core and on the pieces. So let's just put these back together and let's see how this puzzle turns. So first turns on this puzzle, it actually turns really, really good. It's extremely fast now and it's actually really, really, really smooth. Let's see if the corner cutting is any better because it has a little bit less resistance. Over a half a piece. Not about 45, just a little bit under 45, but it turns very, very nicely. Algorithms actually flow really nice on this puzzle, and it turns pretty well, actually. I really enjoy the feeling of it. It's very smooth and a lot faster than it originally was. Um, overall, I really like it, and it just turns pretty nicely. It's a little bit uh, slimy on the outside, but that's to expect when I put a little bit too much in there. Um, reverse cutting is about the same at about nothing, and it's overall a pretty good substance to lube your cube with if you don't have proper lube. So all in all, Pam is actually a really decent substance. The only thing that is wrong with it is that it wears out really quickly. It's like a really, really cheap version of Maru Lube, considering that I had to re-lube the puzzle to get the same effect, but at first, it is a really good lubricant, and I would definitely recommend it if you were short of an actual cube lubricant. So that's about it for this episode of Will It Lube. Comment what substance you want me to put in a 3x3 next and what else you want to see on my channel. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.